I'm taking a huge risk. I don't know if this is going to be the best decision of my life or if this is going to be a complete and utter failure and a waste of time. But I'm taking this risk because I'm just tired of doing the same stuff over and over again. I feel like I've been making the same types of videos for the past like four years. I talked about it briefly in my last two videos, which by the way, I've been making a lot of sit down and talk videos, which I personally don't really like doing. I find them boring. So I apologize for that, but I, I just need to get this video done before 2020, which by the way, if you're watching this in 2020, then happy new years. For Christmas, my dad got me this book called The Adventures of Johnny Bunko, which at first might seem like a weird manga bit. It actually has some really good advice which applies to the topic I'm going to be talking about today. Too many people spend their time avoiding mistakes. They're so concerned about being wrong, about messing up, that they never try anything, which means they never do anything. Their focus is avoiding failure, but that's actually a crummy way to achieve success. The most successful people make spectacular mistakes, huge honking screw-ups. Why? They're trying to do something big, but each time they make a mistake, they get a little better and move a little closer to excellence. And that's just a fact. So what is this possible mistake I'm going to be making? What is this huge risk I'm going to take? I'm moving my live streams to Twitch. I'm going to be putting a lot of my focus and effort into daily live streaming on Twitch.tv. I'm going to try to live stream on Twitch for a hundred days in a row. Daily live streamings of around one, two, three hours long every day. Now I've made similar promises in the past like I'm gonna upload a hundred videos in a row and it, it never goes well. But to make sure I do this, I'm going to be putting a financial kind of consequence in case I mess up. So every day that I miss a stream, if I miss a day, I'm going to be donating $10 to a charity of your guys' choice. So let's say I stream 90 out of the 100 days, I'm going to be donating $100 to a charity of your guys' choice. I'm just doing this so I have another reason, another motivation to really, really actually go through with this promise. So my first ever Twitch live stream is going to be January 1st, 2020 at around 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. So go follow me on Twitch. The link is down below or set a reminder on your phone if you want to be there for the big day. I want to see as many of you guys as possible there. I also want to ask you guys what you want to see on that first ever stream. Do you guys want to watch me play customs, uh, Fortnite customs with, with you guys, which if you don't know is where all of you guys come in the same game. There's a custom code and then you join and then we play these challenge games and then winner gets some points which you can redeem for rewards. Or do you want me to play Minecraft hardcore mode where I just play Minecraft hardcore and you guys kind of tell me what to do and we just have some fun. So yeah, please answer the poll. I believe it's, it might, I, I still don't know which corner it is, the little I. Um, answer that poll, let me know what you guys want to see on that first live stream. Now I do also want to mention that hopefully this isn't going to distract from my videos. I still do plan on uploading weekly on my YouTube channel, Vonix. So yeah, I'm not going to quit YouTube for Twitch. I'm still going to make videos, don't worry. But the big thing I want to talk about in this video is why. Why, why would I take this risk? You know, live streaming on YouTube has been fine. You know, I've been making a decent amount of income from it. I, I'm pretty happy live streaming on Twitch, on YouTube. Why all of a sudden make this giant switch to a completely different platform? Three reasons. Number one, I want a new challenge. I, I remember when I was first starting to grow on YouTube, I felt this drive to go from nothing to something. I wanted to go from zero subscribers to whatever. And I've kind of lost that drive. I've kind of lost that motivation to really push myself, which I'm working on revitalizing, but it's just not the same as it was when I, when I was first starting to grow. So I want that new feeling again. I want to feel like I'm, I'm creating something new. I, I want to feel that drive to go from zero followers to 
whatever amount of followers I can get to. Number two is I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket. I'm already starting to use Twitter and Instagram more, but I'm not very good in Instagram or Twitter. Please help me out. Follow me. Links down below. But in case just YouTube disappears one day, I don't want to be left with nothing. I want to have something, some type of backup plan that I can go to in case YouTube ever just dies out one day. And reason number three on why I'm switching to Twitch is Twitch is a much better live streaming platform than YouTube. Now they both have their ups and downs, but when it comes to purely just features, Twitch beats YouTube by a mile. Now I could talk in detail for hours about every feature that Twitch has that YouTube doesn't like how moderators can't even ban someone on YouTube, but on Twitch you have editors, admins, moderators, VIPs, there's there's many more things you can do there. I can't set up a point shop on YouTube, but I can on Twitch. Twitch sends out notifications to everybody and YouTube doesn't. YouTube takes around 40% of all super chat donations and Twitch doesn't. Also, YouTube doesn't have their own language. Um, it might seem kind of weird for the people that I've never been on Twitch, but Twitch has their own culture, their own language, their, their own way of speaking. They use words like Kappa and Monka S and Pog. And it's it's really weird when you first get to Twitch, but I've been using Twitch a lot and it, it really has this like home, this cozy vibe to it. it I know it sounds really stupid for someone that has never been on Twitch, but it it really is a completely different platform. So yeah, I don't really know what to expect. I might go to Twitch and absolutely hate it and everybody on Twitch hates me. That might happen. I might get like three viewers or I might actually create something big and grow um, a successful Twitch channel. So. That's going to be interesting to see. If you want to join me on my journey again, please be there on the first day and try to join as much as you can. I, I know I'm not expecting everybody to be there on every single day, but it's it's going to be a lot of fun. And I really want you guys to be there with me. So yeah, I'm really excited to see where this goes. Follow my Twitch channel. It is Vonix with two X's. I'll leave all the links down below. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. Let's fucking do this. I can't wait. Have an amazing day and peace out.